Hi guys, how you doing? So let's imagine you're in need of replacing all of your teeth with dental implants. You've done a whole load of research. You like the idea of all on four, where we take out all the bad teeth, put in implants and give you a new set of at least temporary teeth on the day. But what if we didn't give you temporary teeth on the day and we delayed it for a week? Could you deal with one week of no teeth at all? Hi, my name's Gus. I'm a cosmetic and implant dentist based near London in the UK. And if you've been following this channel, you probably realise that we do quite a lot of all on four treatments. And all on four treatments, like I said in the intro, is really, you know, you've got a set of really bad teeth, we remove all of the teeth, we place our implants where we can, and we fit at least really good temporary teeth on the day of the treatment. Okay, so it's quite a lot of stuff to do, and it's all done typically in one day. Now, we've been doing it like this for years and years, but recently, I'm starting to introduce a slightly different way of doing it for some of our patients. You see, in January this year, we had a complication which I think could have been avoided. Okay, so let me explain. We did all on four treatment for top and bottom teeth. The treatment went really well. We got really good tightness on all of our implants. There was zero complications. It, you know, in my eyes, things were looking really, really good. Uh, so we made our temporary teeth. And the way we make temporary teeth for all on four treatments is we have a denture which is pre-made. Then, once our implants are in, we have to drill holes in this denture where the implants are, and then we use, it's like an acrylic, which is used to what we call pick up the, the cylinders on the implants, okay? So, we end up with this denture with holes in it, with glue around these implant components. And quite often, it works really nicely, but in this case, what happened was the the temporaries broke at the fracture line because by drilling holes and using different materials and glues to hold everything together you are introducing weakness into the system and if you're having just the, your top or just the bottom teeth done this may not be that big an issue because you've still got natural teeth on the opposing arch and you can judge how you're biting how hard you're biting i should say but in this particular case, we did the top and the bottom and we did it all in one go and the bite was really good. Everything was fine. But I suspect that this lady was maybe clenching her teeth at night and that caused breakages in the temporary dentures, which often I'm not too concerned about, okay, because these can be fixed, but it happened within two weeks, okay, so th this was a, a little bit strange, it was a little bit different to how breakages happen. And the end result was, after placing eight implants, we had to take one implant out, okay, that early. Now, taking an implant out is not a big problem. We take the implant out, we let the area heal, we can then place a new implant in that position. But what it does do, it introduces another appointment where we have injections and surgical treatment. Granted, we can get this second surgery done within an hour, but it's, it's just extra hassle for our patient and extra stress for our patients. In addition to this, it will actually add treatment time to the overall length of the treatment because we now need to wait for this area where this one implant failed. We need to let that heal and then we place our new implant in there and that needs to integrate. And we like to give the like all on four implants, usually between four and six months to, to fully heal. So it means a longer time in temporaries. So what could we have done differently to avoid this situation? And the easy answer to this is we could have not given teeth on the day, okay? And instead of not giving teeth on the day, what we can do is take molds and records of where the implants are, okay? And then we can leave what we call healing abutments on all of the implants and send all of this work to the lab. The lab can then build much stronger temporary teeth which we fit usually within the week okay so it means that we've got a few days with no teeth and these little metal things just poking out of the gum now i started thinking about this quite a lot and i've been offering this solution to especially everybody who's having top and bottom done 
And a surprising number of people are saying, yes, okay, this sounds sounds good. And it's actually got another bunch of benefits. You see, if you're considering all of the four treatment, it's a really long day, okay? And my typical day by about nine o'clock, we want to start, okay? Realistically, we start between 9.30 and 10. And by about 11.30, the surgical side is done, between 11.30 and 12. What I mean by the surgical side is teeth are out, implants are in, and everything's all stitched up. But then from 12 till maybe 3 o'clock, we've got um, the conversion of the denture, making of the temporary teeth, okay? So if you if you think about it, already our patients are, are anxious. If they're having sedation, you the advice is not to eat on the day. So having nothing to eat by three o'clock it's a long day it's really tiring if you're having this treatment done especially under sedation where you haven't eaten anything so by just focusing on putting our implants in and delaying the actual fitting of the teeth by a few days it means our patients are out of the surgery and they can have a liquid diet you near know, protein shakes really soft foods which they which they're going to just swallow you can have that for a few days and then come in fresh and it's just a case of fitting the teeth, okay? There's no waiting around or, or, or anything like that. And the teeth you get are much stronger than if we had fitted them um, on the day. So in theory, this way of doing it has got a lot of advantages, but we don't always get it right. Here's the situation where the bite was a little bit out. So the teeth have to go back and have them readjusted and then we're going to fit them so we don't have a bite problem like we've got here. So I just wanted to make this video just as a, a quick kind of update on on our protocols. You know, as as I've said in previous videos, we are always trying to improve things just a little bit. And here it seems like we're improving things on the the kind of out, out, uh, outcome, I should say outcome and the success rate of the, the treatment. But we're taking something away in terms of having this period of no teeth okay especially on a, a treatment like all on four where one of the main kind of selling points is that you don't have to go through a period of not having teeth or you don't have to go through a period of having loose dentures okay so i realized that this might not be for absolutely everybody but i think a lot of the patients who actually come to see me are pretty well educated on on the options and they're kind of level-headed so the success of the treatment is is more important than a few days without teeth so as always guys i hope you found this video useful and uh, if you've got questions comments here please leave them below and i will try and answer them until next time have a great day. We'll see you soon.